going to go ahead when it comes to the grid marketplace, I'm going to sort of give you a little analysis on my personal economic beliefs. Okay. You can, you can use them for what you will. However, I have a lot of experience, 16 years on the front line in the mortgage industry and being in the trenches counts. The problem with what you're going to read in the marketplace, okay, or what you might see in the marketplace is it's very hard for the media to take what experts have to say and take two hours worth of expert testimonials, so to speak, and then reduce that into five minutes or, or one page. Okay. So what you have is you have non-experts reorganizing a lot of compli complicated, complex information that came out of an expert's mouth. And that really doesn't work. The key thing that you need to know is this bad news for the stock market. Okay. Is good news for mortgage rates, international uncertainty. Okay. You know, rates hit all time lows after September 11th. Why? Because international uncertainty and economic uncertainty drives investors from the speculation, so to speak of the stock market to the safety of the bond market. And as more and more people go from stock market to bond market, the price of bonds go up with that increase in demand. Okay. And a bond becoming more expensive means it's paying less of a return and that will drive rates down. Now, when the market starts to turn around, okay, then you'll see people running from the safety of bonds back into the speculation of the stock market. And as they leave the bond market, well, all of a sudden the uh, supply changes and now bonds become more expensive, which means, or they become, uh, uh, more lucrative, which means they pay a higher interest rate. And that's what will then go ahead and raise the interest rates. It's complex. I stand around on the whole, the whole idea myself. Keep an eye on property values. That'll tell you everything. Adjustable mortgages are really, really good tool when property values are going up because you can always refinance them before the payment goes up with no, let's say, uh, outlay of additional equity. If properties values are going down, when the values are going down in America, stay away from adjustable mortgages because the worst thing that can happen to you, what killed the housing industry in America was that the value of your house went down 30%. Okay. And then your adjustable mortgage payment went up by $500. Now to refinance that adjustable mortgage to a lower payment, you have to write a check to reset the proper loan to value. Okay. And most people just hand it over the keys rather than, than making the choice to write those checks. So when property values are going up, arms are a pretty good proposition. Do them when you think the property values are at the bottom, get on an arm because you're going to do well over the next several years, because if rates start going up, you can just refinance them. When property values are going down though, you know, run for the fences, get yourself into a fixed, do it with no closing costs and wait it out.